Hello. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. And I am here with part four of my Paint Some Way haul unboxing. This one I was really looking forward to, and then I opened it and saw it's a DIY cross stitch, so I'm kind of scared to see how it's going to look, how many colors it's going to have. I don't know if you're familiar with the DIY cross stitch, but I have not had the best luck with them so far. Let me see how to open this package. the chart and it has 25 colors so yes I'm very disappointed I'm probably going to email the company and see if I can maybe return it because as you can see it's it's just not really going to have any detail it's going to be very simple it's mostly whatever color 939s was mostly that dark kind of navy blue. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Let's look at the canvas. I mean, I would have been disappointed even if I'd got this free or something, but I paid for this. So that makes it, you know, even more disappointing. Let me see how much I paid for. Okay, first, before I address the elephant in the room, um, the kit was listed as $5.99 on the site. I paid $4.79 with the discount. But now let's address the big problem. So not only is it not enough colors, 25, but they sent the wrong wrong kit. It's supposed to be a cat sitting on books. Oh, it's just a blurry picture, but I'll try to put a picture up. But as you can see, it's a cat sitting on books with a candle and just a window in the background and all kind of stuff. And this is a cat head. Maybe surrounded by Flowers? I can't even tell what that is. I think it's supposed to be like a black cat surrounded by some red roses on a dark background. I mean, even for that simpler picture, this is not enough collars. But it's not even the right picture, so I'm definitely going to be emailing them about that. Because this is disappointing. I don't know, have you ever worked with paint some way do you know if they like send you something so you can send it back or how it works let's go on and look at the flaws they sent a big hank that's not even numbered which I'm assuming is 939 because it's a dark blue and then Here's one through 18. I mean, the floss is nice and soft. It looks like they sent the colors for the one I'd ordered. Here's 19 through 25. all of them together 
I'm just going through it fast because obviously, you know, I'm not going to be stitching this. But it's nice floss. Just a random big hank of, like I said, I'm assuming 939 since that's the background. Yeah, this is the floss for the kit I was supposed to get. It does not match the colors on this one. I'm just going based that 939 is number 20 on this. And on here, 939 is number 19. Which is this one. So, I mean, if I had wanted to stitch this... I could have with the floss and just went by this chart or tried to, but like I said, it's not enough colors to do it justice. You won't be able to see any of the detail. Um, it's supposed to be 50 by 50, which is what this size is. 11 count. And yeah, I'm supposed to be a cat sitting on books. I just don't even know what to say. I'm just really upset. 173 by 173, which is probably what this is. So they have the dimensions right and the number of colors, and it's a cat. But yeah, it's just the wrong canvas for this kit. The wrong Ada, the wrong however you want to say it, the wrong image. Upsetting, disappointing. Let's look at the next one, which I was also kind of sad to see as a DIY cross stitch. This one was listed as $3.17. I paid $2.54 for it. Um, I feel like I saw it like in a clearance or a sale section, but it's been a little while since I ordered it, so I can't tell you for sure. I really just like how they just print it on regular paper. 13 colors. This one I'm, is, isn't as disappointing because it is a silhouette. So, I mean, 13 colors might be plenty. It is... It is called Halloween Skull, 11 count, 40 by 50 centimeters, 129 by 173 stitches. I'll try to insert a picture so you can see it better because this, you know, doesn't really do it justice. This one I probably will stitch because, like I said, 13 colors might be plenty for this. It's not going to be very detailed or anything, but it is a silhouette, so I wasn't expecting a lot of detail. I'm just really disappointed in the other one, so if I sound just off a little bit, it's, it's because I was just really disappointed in that other one. Alright. I don't know what to say about this chart. The chart is... It's tiny. I don't know if you can see. It's difficult for me to read because it's printed so tiny, even with my readers on, but it is 7.30 in the morning after me working a 12-hour shift, night shift, so my eyes are tired, so it might not be as bad when I'm feeling fresh. It looks like it's printed clearly. It's just, it's on paper, so, you know, you have to be careful not to rip it, not to get it wet or anything like that. It matches what's printed on the canvas, so you don't need that unless for some reason you can't read the canvas. 
Oh, I forgot to say both of these. They don't come with the little um, kits. This just comes with two needles that's in the fabric. I'm going to take those out. I don't like to leave it in the fabric. I'm not sure why I left it in the other one. Put this over on my magnet. I'm not sure what this is. To me, it kind of makes me think... I don't even know. Let me click on their image. Oh, page not found. So this was probably the last one. So this one is no longer for sale, I guess. To me, it kind of made me think of Jack Skellington, but not quite. I mean, if you can see, I love the Pumpkin King. But I just like this, and it was cheap. And, you know, I knew it wasn't going to be very detailed, so I thought it would be an easy stitch. It's going to be a lot of dark background, but I expected that. It looks like it's printed clearly. I hope you can see that okay. Big blocks of color, of course, for the background and for some of the areas. And then a little bit of variegation. Not really confetti, but... You know, enough colors to make it interesting to stitch on. Maybe you get really bored of the background. I'm not hating this. I won't know how it's going to look until I start stitching on it. But right now I'm not disappointed in it. Because, as I said, with it being a silhouette, I wasn't expecting a whole lot of colors or anything. Let's look at the floss. The 13 colors. I am kind of surprised at the color choice because in the picture it on on the side it just looks orange like oranges and black so this is kind of surprising I'm assuming it's maybe mixed in with the dark to kind of give it some depth like as the light goes into the dark maybe let's see this one is number seven so it's the blue. So yeah, it's the colors interspersed through the dark. I have a feeling it's going to look more like this picture than the picture that I probably inserted. But the lighter picture that's shown on their site. But it has some nice bright oranges. It's got some nice tans. got a lot of 310. Some more like oranges and tans. So yeah, it was this color that was surprising. And then it comes with this big bundle of 310. I'm surprised. Well, I guess I'm not really surprised because I don't have high expectations of DIY cross stitch, but You'd think they would put a number on it. Even though you can tell it's black, so you know it's 310. What if you've never stitched a day in your life and you don't know that black is 310? What if you didn't know you were supposed to try to match it to what's hanging on the card? I don't know. Am I being too judgmental? Am I being too hard on the company? Or manufacturer or whatever you call it. Anyway, I will stitch this one. I'm curious to ha as to how it's going to turn out. And as I said, it was cheap. And I liked the image. And I, I didn't, I mean, I hope it turns out like the picture. It should. Alright, so on to the last one I bought. Well, the last one I'm going to unbox for you. I don't know what order I bought these all in, but I bought them all together. Haha, ha, I'm just being odd because, like I said, lack of sleep. I slept maybe three hours yesterday and then worked 12 hours. This one I'm excited about because I think she's super pretty. Hopefully I have the picture put up for you. But 
but if not, you can kind of see what she's supposed to look like. She's called the Libra, which I am a Libra. Let's look. She was listed as $4.87 on the site. I paid $3.90 for her with the discount. She is 40 by 56 centimeters, 148 by 217 stitches with a count. She's on the hard to tear paper. She has 44 colors. So I'm excited to work on this one. A lot of the same symbols in different colors. Fold it so it's a little easier to put together the chart. I'm not seeing any smears or blurs. It's printed clearly. The different symbols and colors are easily discernible. I don't think, I mean, we have like a light orange and a dark orange. So I might have to keep an eye out for that. Just so, I, you know, my brain doesn't get them confused. Purples and pinks, greens. I don't think I'm going to have any issues with getting them confused. I really won't know until I'm stitching it. Like I said, the hardest part will be my brain going, oh, that's orange and wanting to stitch it. You know, both of them the same color, even though they're obviously different. Let's look at the canvas. Surged all around. Which the other two kits. Are not? No. Alright, sorry. It's not the easiest read but it's not hard to read either if that makes sense the legend it's just some of the numbers are kind of the surging goes over the numbers the thread does so some of them are a little kind of blurry but it'll be easy just to look back at the chart if I get confused got the same writing, the 11 count, 40 by 56 centimeters, 148 by 217 stitches. If you hear noises in the background, that's my cats. I feel like, let's get this to focus. I feel like it is printed clearly. Everything is in its own square. It doesn't look like it's going into the next square at all. On here, let me compare real quick. Yeah, so on here, the two oranges that I was kind of worried about on the chart are actually easily distinguishable because on here it's red and orange so that makes me happy I'm not gonna have to worry about that Let's see if there's anything that's gonna be confusing orange dot red dot circle, pink circle, circle. Now it looks like 
looks like maybe the most difficult part might be if there's any of the X's and the diagonal lines together. Other than that, it looks like, and maybe, I don't know if you can see that, the little red arrows next to the red circles. Like if I'm just glancing down, they almost look like the same symbol. So I'll have to pay attention to that. And again, um, X's, there's red X's and red um, like less than signs that if they're near each other could become confusing. But right now it looks like the arrows and circles are going to be my, or dots, points, I don't know what you want to call them since these are technically circles. Um, those will probably be my biggest problem, but hopefully I don't have any issues with it. I hope to start this one soon because I really do like her. This looks really odd. <laughs> There's a lot of confetti going on in this one. So she's going to take me a while because it just really slows down my stitching. I mean, there's there are blocks of color. So I can do some blocks of color to break up some of the confetti, but there is just a lot going on in this picture. Lots of colors. It looks like there are sections of, you know, multiple stitches of one color, so it won't be just one stitch here, one stitch there all the time. But there are a lot of sections that are just, just a lot going on. But I am happy with that because that means there should be plenty of detail. This one did come with the little kit. Five needles and a poof ball. Needle threader and the adjustable thimble. I just, this was my, my week or my, my, I don't know what you would call it, but for the fish, my package for the fish is, it came in two separate packages. The two DIY came separately from the rest. That's one reason I opened them last because they were the last to get here. So I guess that one was the package of the fish. All right, let's look at the floss before I ramble on too much more. Started thinking about the DIY kit and just got upset again. This comes on the floss drops, which you know makes me happy. Yeah, she has a lot of light colors in her, which I feel is fitting for Libra, because when I think Libra, I think pinks and pearls, and I cannot remember what else the um, stones are for Libras, but you know, I've seen a lot of pinks and, and pearl colors. I'm a Libra. My daughter's a Libra. My son was almost a Libra, but he was born just a few days late, and he's a Scorpio. One of my best friends is a Libra. Look at these pretty colors. I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing. You're not. It's blue again. Why is it blue on my screen? This is a lovely purple. It's so weird how these colors just, just do not show up. This is like a really light gray. This is like that dusty purple color. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think I call it mauve a lot and I have no idea if that's even a color. This one looks like a light minty green. And it's showing up kind of a white on my screen. If anybody is actually watching and listening to me try to just tell you what these colors look like to me, tell me if it's just my monitor or if you're seeing what I'm seeing on my monitor. Like, like this is a vibrant, like lemon yellow. 
this is that kind of gold yellow. This kind of a rust orange. That one's coming up more goaty brown on my monitor. Here's a nice pretty pink, pale pink. This is a darker pink, but not as dark as the monitor. Yeah, this one looks like, um, kind of look like 154. What color is this, I wonder? 902, I'm not sure what 902 is supposed to look like. There's only a little bit of 310, that makes me happy because a lot, a lot of 310 and 939 and what, 823 has been going on in a lot of my projects I've been working on. Let's see, 310, no 823, no 939, that makes me happy. Like I said, she is just a bright, light colored beauty. I will have inserted a picture because this just does not do her justice. I feel like I might have got a lot of these in like a, I don't know if they have a clearance section. I feel like I got a lot of these because a couple of them I've clicked on just while I'm doing these unboxing videos is saying it's like the page isn't found. I'm wondering if that's why they were so cheap. This this is a great site though. I mean, they have such great value if you don't get stuck with the DIY cross stitch kit. Like, where else are you gonna be able to get this kit with all these all this floss, all these colors for like four dollars? You know. So, I would totally recommend going and checking out paintsomeway.com a link will be in the description box um, I think all of these are no longer available that I opened in this video so I can't leave links for them yeah all three of these are showing no longer available but um, this was part four so if you have not go check out the first three parts of the unboxing the first one was a diamond painting and then the other two videos were cross stitch kits i think number two was bookmarks and the free kit i got for pay, spending over thirty dollars you get a free blind box Right now, free shipping for orders over $49. All bets paid by them. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, let me know if you feel my frustration over that one kit. Not only they sent the wrong canvas, but it's 24 colors in such a detailed image. I'm just really disappointed in that one. But I will stop rambling and whining now and take myself off to bed since I do work another 12 hour shift tonight. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye bye.